Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and I've got one more thing to do for setting up my MX system. I just ran through all MX package installer, installing all my apps. I still got some little configurating to do to get favorites and stuff done. That's kind of boring, but I am going to show you one tool. Now this, my computer is divided up into three partitions. You'll see I got a file, I got a data partition. Uh, I set it up in one of the previous videos. Um, I have a certain way that I like my apps to be set up and I have a script for doing that so I'm going to uh, right click on data partition and I gotta be root to mount the thing because it's an NTFS partition whoops I typed in the wrong password because I'm not running live I'm running installed there we go so you see in my data partition you're gonna see folders that look very familiar documents downloads Dropbox music pictures videos virtual box files and this is my work in progress folder and also some Neverwinter Nights game, save games. Okay, so in my work in progress folder, I have an app, uh, I have a small script called <sighs> Oh, it's not here. Oh, there it is. Dolphin home folder sim links. I'm going to copy that to my home folder. Why am I copying it from the home folder instead of running it from the NTFS drive? Because I'm going to unmount the NTFS drive. All right. And I need to make this executable so I can run it. Allow program to be run by me. Okay. So what this app does is it is going to remove all the existing folders in my home folder and replace them with sim links to my other folder. Now, why do I do this to my data partition? Now, why do I do this? I do this because... Uh, I like having all the settings for a particular OS in my home folder separate from all the other OS's, but I need my data, right? So I sim link my folders back. Uh, are there problems with it? I, there might be. I don't know. I've been doing this for a long time, and I haven't run into any. Um, uh, so, uh, so these sim links are set up the way I need them to run to my to my. Uh, 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 folder. I also set up some fancy prompts automatically by doing some magic on Bash RC. Uh, check out my customizing the I MX terminal videos or XFCE4 terminal videos. One of them I'd, I'd show you how to do the prompt, fancy prompt. I turn the compositor on on the XFCE compositor on. There, but this is the line I'm looking for. Now on some on some machines I have to turn off the LED. I don't have to on this machine because it's behaving. Um, I don't actually don't have to fool with the drop down terminal because they've got it set it's set up by default now pretty close to the way I like it. So the only other thing I need is this line right here. Now this line is a special line for FS tab for my NT, NTFS drive, my data partition. Why do I need that line? Because I'm going to use a utility called, and it's included by default, called Disk Manager. And Disk Manager not only mounts drives as you need them, but it is also an editor for FS tab. Now, so I'm going to click media data part here. And it's mounted now. You can see it's lit up up here. But and it's using the right type, but I need some extra uh lines in there for my sim link setup to work. So I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to paste in the line that I use, the edit line. Now, this is also the point where I can change the mount point if I want to to whatever I want. But I want media data part because my script is already set up to use that. NTFS 3G is the correct driver. If you happen to be using, mounting an NTFS drive, sometimes this thing defaults to NTFS. Sometimes the NTFS 3G. Got no reason. I got no idea why it does one and then the other. It, it, it shows up both ways. So anyway, there it goes. It's That's done. I'm saving the FS tab. Now if I pull up in the terminal here and go into uh, cat... Uh, slash Etsy slash FS tab. Uh, you'll see there it is. There's my line in the FS tab uh, thing. So when I come back, when I was I like that drive to auto mail since it's going to double as my home folder, sorta my document storage, I guess. So I'm done with disk manager, and now I'm going to run. Let me open up a regular terminal. I'm going to run that script. It's nothing special. It's just custom for me. Okay, but you're going to see over here the folders change into sim links. Ah, and it says I cannot remove the videos directory because it's not empty. Duh, because I'm recording this video. So I'll do that one again later. 
uh, manually. But you can see they've all turned in the sim links. If I go to downloads, there's all my oh, my old download stuff. If I go to music, there's some music in there. Uh, and the WIP folder, which is just what I had just showed you. So that's how I, like, how I like to look at that. Now you can see this is the original prompt over here. But if I open up the terminal, let's, uh, let's exit out the terminal. You'll see now I have the fancy prompt in the terminal automatically. And you saw the screen blink? That's because the compositor is now on. So you can do all, I do all that automatically because I like the same setup every time. Anyway, some people asked about that, so I thought I'd show how I set that up quick and dirty. Um, also, I set up VirtualBox this way so that if I, if I set up VirtualBox and Dropbox folder links before I run Dropbox and VirtualBox, then, um, then the folders are, are right for their, for their default settings as well. I don't have to move things around. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to play around and get my theme set up and my wallpapers, but you guys can do that on your own. Uh, for tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forms.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.